back at y'all with another one and this is the review of Omar Apollo's this a hot sauce by way of Taco Bell new hot sauce they have available at Taco Bell I'm not familiar with Omar Apollo nor his this a hot sauce but I heard you can buy it in bottles by way of the website things of that nature I saw a quick clip on YouTube in terms of Taco Bell and how it's a family recipe for this Omar Apollo. Cool. But we're going to see how it stacks up against the fire and hot sauces and see if it's something that I need to incorporate by buying a bottle or something that Taco Bell needs to incorporate in their day to day sauces. We're going to stack up against the fire and the hot and see what's really good with it. Especially since sauce, just like food and drink, does not live in a bubble. Now, I'm going to try it on its own, and then I'm going to put it on some items. And we'll go from there. Okay. That's the Dissa. This is the hat. And this is the fire. Now let me take a little bit of the hot, put it on the finger. Got that kind of vinegary spice to it, as expected. That's the hot. Here's the fire. Slightly darker than the hot. Less, <coughs> excuse me. Less vinegary. It doesn't have a heat. It definitely has a heat that hits you on your tongue and hits the back of your throat. Good stuff. You can even say it's more tasty than the hot. But the question is, do you want to deal with the extra spice? Now, this this a hot sauce right here. It has a sweet savoriness to it, in my opinion. In the background, not prominent, but a sweet savoriness and some heat. Heat more or less comparable to the between that spot between the hot and fire. But it's quite tasty. Quite tasty. That this is hot is tasty enough that like hey, I could probably dip some nachos into it and, and feel good about it, with it not being some kind of vinegary hot sauce, but with actually being it being a tasty kind of like a salsa kind of hot sauce if you know what I mean it's good stuff won't front on it oh here we get the dish of hot box now we got these little nachos right here okay let's try with the nachos this is dish of Good stuff. Get the hotness, not too hot. But also the spices, a little sweetness. Good stuff. Contrast it against the hot. A little vinegary. You know, in a various, you know, a slight amount of heat. The fire right here. Tasty and spicy. Obviously the spicy of these three. And naturally we can assume Diablo's going to be hotter than the fire. It is what it is. So yeah. I'm really digging that this is hot. Kind of like a sauce that you can dip stuff into, and you know what? It makes for a good experience. Now we got this crunchy taco. I let it sit out for a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. Now I'll get some dish of hot over here. Let that get up in the mix with the taco. And then I can 
contrast it with the the fire. Let me grab another fire package. If I had one. Yes, I do. But this is the fire one right here. And the fire brings that nice heat. Not too overpower in my opinion, especially once you're on food and you're used to it. Now, is this a hot? Make sure I get some more on it. It enhances the taco, complements it nicely. It does provide a contrast. Kind of a sweet heat, in my opinion. It's something to switch up from the other hot sauce that they have. I'm saying get a good amount of spice and flavor in it too. It's like a tastier hot sauce, if you will. The heat in between hot and fire, but also has a tastiness of the fire to some degree. So yeah. It's a good addition that they have at Taco Bell. Can't front on that. And like I said, if you have some nachos, dip it right on in that. Or on the tacos, or whatever else you got, the, you know, the gorditas and things of that nature. It makes for a, it's a, just something different, just to break up the palate, just to switch it up a little bit. If you get tired of the, you know, the hot sauces they traditionally have at Taco Bell. So yeah, I could definitely see myself using this, you know, in certain occasions, certain types of food. And it's probably even really good on breakfast food since it had a little bit of a sweetness to it to me. Hey, why not put it on a breakfast sandwich? Why not add it some eggs or something like that? Especially since people, you know, might have the, the toast with the jelly, butter, things of that nature. Hey. Something a little sweet to go for your breakfast. Put it on there, that little sweet heat when you're not getting that straight heat first thing in the morning. Cool. So, yeah. This this uh, hot sauce, Omar Apollo, he got something going on over here. Not familiar with his work, but then again, how many people are? Yeah, I see he got several million listeners on Spotify. Whether that's augmented by any type of Bots or anything of that nature, even though bots are illegal, but hey, you know, if you're relatively in the mix with labels or have some kind of connection, you may be able to get a extra few million listeners to things of that nature. Who knows? Not a big deal. What he's got going on over here, this family recipe, I'm digging it. I'm feeling it. Thank you, Taco Bell, for introducing this to me. Now I know who Omar Apollo is, and I guess he's probably going to get a few more <laughs> music listens by people that are like, hey, yo, who's this guy, when you look him up. That's how I feel about it. Iceberg Jim out. Deuces.